All right, welcome back to SRD Plays A Noob Plays NBA 2K18. I am the noob, and here is my creator player, SRD, a.k.a. DJ. And uh, we're going to go right into a game and get things going here. Let's go. Hopefully I'll be getting some more playing time here soon. I would hate for somebody to run in here as much as you're on your phone. Listen, I'm looking out for you. I'm on Yelp right now looking for the best late night spots in the city. Right, and I'm sure you'll be coming with us, right? Well, I mean, <laughs> for security purposes, you know. You're yeah. Cool, man. Hey, look into some dim sum. Dim what? Dim what? Russell, what's up, man? What's up, DJ? Hey, they warn me about you, bruh. Word? Hey, you got any advice? One young buck to another? Yeah, you gotta get in that gym right away. For real? Yeah, for sure. Like weights and stuff? All of that, you know what I'm saying? Really, the, the, the weights is where it's at. <laughs> you kind of look soft. Hold up, bruh. <laughs> I'm trying to find who you talking to. Man, the eye test is really what gets you over the hump in this league, and you, you kind of, it's a little suspect right now. Now you a little suspect right now. I'm just right helping now. you out. I'm just helping you out. That's no, all. No, no, no. Focus on that game tonight. <laughs> all right, sure, we're going to see. Yeah, we're going to see. Sure. All right, we'll see. Let's go. The Brooklyn Nets. In Brooklyn. 2K Sports checks in with our loyal viewers with a broadcast from Brooklyn. We are 10 and 4. The Nets are 7 and 6. Let's go. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the and now, before we get to the tip off, let's find. Well, guys, when I asked him what impressed him the most about today's opponent, he immediately referred to the explosiveness on their offense. Thank you, David. Well, Clark, as we were just talking about, it's, it's an early part of the season, and teams are still adjusting to the players they've got on these Let's go. And if you're a coach, how worried are you about wins and losses at this point of the season? Well, you're always conscious of wins and losses. All right, I'm going in the game. Uh, where the hell am I? Just three of their first nine right shots there. to go down in this game. On the floor for Boston. Hayward outside at the three with Morris to his side at the four. Wells is out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's the monster in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And with all the talk about Kyrie coming to Boston, you still have to figure how oh, by one left on his contract, player option after that. The first. But with his scoring and shooting, should make this offense even more potent. And right, when let's you man up here. Kyrie's ability into this Boston system, you have to expect good thing. Irving does so much for himself and others. The longer he plays with the team, I think the more comfortable he'll become. Oh, man. Well, maybe he's not the fastest guy. Man. But quickness is more important than pure speed in basketball. Russell's handle and scoring instincts, though, are borderline elite. Wells kicks to Hayward. Down low. Got it. Nice we got two points. Monster. And when you watch DJ play and the way he's found some early success, Greg, you are just surprised. Very little early success. I don't know what they're talking about. On. I mean, I understand his love for music, but he missed some valuable developmental time taking that time off. Okay. Oh, get it back. But to be fair, DJ's a different Oh, man. Yeah. Than he was in the past. He was only interested in music and essentially removed himself from draft consideration. So now he just comes off as a much more focused and committed player. And for this team, he looks to be well Get out of here. Yeah, a nice Four points for Scotty D. But Greg, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. An absolutely tremendous athlete able to go up and finish over the biggest of defenders. The shot by Give me that board. He must hit that shot. I mean, the defense, non -fact. Come on, right here. I'm open. Very surprised, and he missed it. All right, give it back. Pass to Irving. Underneath the basket. Good God, what do you want? Here's the monster. Go on, finish it. Get out of here. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Boom. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Get back on defense. Get back. Just effective. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Back to Russell. And 
so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the I, line to shoot I didn't two. think I fouled him there. And for D'Angelo Russell, the offensive talent is obvious, but it seems his defense. Where, I don't, I don't see the foul. Go. I don't no, see he's the got foul. The now he's got good size. He's not a great, great athlete. He's a good athlete, but not an explosive, powerful athlete. I think he's got to get stronger. And the other pieces, he's got to really be about the mental aspect, the focus, and the consistent effort day in and day out to maximize his, his physical gifts. Tatum, he's checked in for the Celtics. Terry Rozier comes in for Kyrie Irving. Now, here's Tatum. He's guarded by Cram. Tatum passes to the Monster. That one goes Get out of here. Eight points the early on. Got eight points. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Screen by Russell. Jump ball. <laughs> Don't be pushing him now. What are you pushing D'Angelo for? So it's Boston now. Ah. Uh. There's the dish to Cramp. Here's Alice Jefferson. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. All right. Stole the ball. To the inside. In the court. Oh, what did... Mm -hmm. God, I had the points. What did I pass it for? Now, here's Wells. Defended by Lynn. Here's the monster. Good D by Booker. Uh, that was a bad shot. Man, why did I... I had it easy. For them to secure that defensive back room. I had an early, easy, I easy. Uh, much into it. There's still a lot of game left. Dunk. Rozier kicks to Morris. Out left of the wing. Down low. Here's the monster. Forget that it. Is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last ten points. Oh no, you don't. Paint. No, you get out of my area. Jefferson passes. Oh up. crap! That's my. Uh, really, it's a thing of beauty to watch. Let him get behind me. Move the ball like that. I mean, he's a let him get behind me. Who looks to make the pass as much as possible? Let's go set a pick. Let's set a pick. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Lynn with the ah. start. In transition, here come the Nets. Lynn's running. That puts them in the lead. And the awareness from Lynn, outstanding. A true point guard who really sees the floor well. The Celtics have gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. There's 45 seconds left here in the first quarter, and it's going to be a three-second call. What? I thought I was outside of the box there, man. Oh, the coach ain't happy with me there. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing under control. Outside, Lynn to the middle. Get out of here. Give me that block. Brown wide open. He fired. First shot, first basket. He's Here we go. The blocks fast. Yeah, I like how Tatum surveys the floor. Great at looking for his teammates, especially when they're open. Outside, Lynn. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Love the attacking mentality. Lynn doing what's two fouls on me. To get himself to the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And examining his numbers this season, we can see that he's been an exceptional free throw shooter. Right around 85. You know, he's been one of those players they've wanted on the line as much as possible this season, especially in close games. All right. Let's go back to the second quarter. I've increased my play time, the, court, the period. Time up to 10 minutes. And Irving subbed in for Rogier. And how unique I is this figure that will probably get me more playing Celtics time, whether one of the best I'm right or not, I don't know. Yet at the same time, still drafting top picks. You know, the after no, 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 get out of here. Get out. Oh. Quite honestly, we'll go down as one of get out of here with that crap. At 10 points, first quarter, that's Tomorrow pretty damn good for me. And there's D'Angelo Russell, and it's Kilpatrick in at the two-guard. So that's the Nets five. 
Irving attacking. <laughs> it's good. Irving's got the lead up to 11 now for the Celtics. And as the Nets struggle to rebuild with some D now, play some D. Frank, their losses have been uh, Boston's game. Yeah, the rich get richer. I mean, meanwhile, the Celtics sign all star caliber veterans like Al Horford and Gordon Haywood on the open market. And, and it's just rare for a team to have the best record in the conference and land the number one overall pick. And, and, and really, the first three or four seasons of his career, Damari De Carroll was kind of a fringe rotation player. I, I think once his three-point shooting took form uh, in, in Atlanta, that's when his value as a player skyrocketed. Carroll hits them both. And for Damari Carroll, able to hit the three, but it all starts for him, Greg, at the defensive end. Yeah, he, he can be an intimidator on that side of the ball. And with his lockdown mentality defensively, he only needs to provide complimentary Forget it. to be a key contributor. <laughs> and a terrific percentage here in the 12 first points half. in the paint. You got to love their rhythm and the flow. Got an accolade. I agree I think with it's you. my I first mean, accolade. They just look comfortable out there, taking what the defense gives them and and then capitalizing with, with no real problem at all. Here's Kilpatrick. Comes up empty from Give me that board. And Give me that board. The Feed the alley. They haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, as they're looking to battle back, that's one of the key elements. You got to rebound. Off a pick. Oh. Wells, no good. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Agree with you there, partner, because that screen really freed him up nicely and that's a shot that if you're a pro you need to make that one. give me that board the Nets, they come into this one following a loss to the jazz in utah you know they're the visiting team it's a loud arena very distracting at times but all right 14 no points a ton of who are you points. kidding who are you kidding you know i'm what, going to the basket now i just this is the nba the best league in the world you got to block things out and Focus on the task at hand. Here's Carroll. Ah. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. I didn't see it Carroll's coming, and I, I could have got over there to the help. The mentality that we're seeing from Carroll. Even a spot-up guy needs to seize those opportunities. Oh, mismatch. Mismatch. Get out of the paint. Get out of the paint. Irving against Russell. Kicks to Wells. Here's the monster. Uses Forget about it. it you can't stop me now. Oh, He's got the eye of the tiger. Punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, uh, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Booker left side. And oh, right third foul. foul. They're probably going to send me down. And he'll go to the line. Boy, you really got to be careful with Booker because he's so Maybe not. good at scoring while getting bumped. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Celtics? Really some great drives to the basket here early on for these guys. Another thing they've been doing so far tonight is knocking down the jump shot. We've got 123 left in the second quarter. A shot by Hayward wide open. Oh, come on, Hayward. I give you a beautiful screen like that and you mess it up. Kilpatrick passes to Russell. Here's the screen. He feeds it to Moscow. Ah, crap. I left my guy open. And he sinks that one in the back of the Who fell? On the way in. Moscow got his first bucket in this one. Marcus Morris has checked in for the monster. All right, I'm sitting down. Hey, good first half. Good first half. Celtics leading by eight. Irving kicks to well. Good first half for me. The first Best first half I've had. Best, best game I've had so far. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Ooh, you first interview. Very efficiently in the first half. So, what has the mindset been? Well, you know, I've just I've tried to stay aggressive when I have the ball and, and not to get baited into taking a bad shot. As long as I keep attacking and not settling for the bad looks, then I'll be effective on the offensive end. So we have a great offense, you know, as a team, and I'm just trying to do my part within it. Well, you guys are working together, and it's paid dividends so far. Thanks, guys. Thank you, David. And All right, we'll our first in-game interview. <clears throat> Had a phenomenal first half. 16 points, three rebounds, and one block shot.
let's make it tough out there. I want to smother him all the time. Has it? Anytime S. Kilpatrick has got the ball. All right, let's go. Do I get back in? Last game, I didn't get back into the second half. I'm not. Did we just lose? I'm not sure what's going on here. The game is over. I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, Post spin finishes two for two. Working on some stuff here today. That was a good game for me. I only got played at there after I scored 14 to 16 points in the first half. He didn't put me back in. <clears throat> okay. See my fans jump up to 50,000. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that was a good increase there. One job. Play like trash. Wait. Hey, 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 calm down. Bro, I didn't play like trash. You and I both know there's cameras all over this tunnel. We also know the rules. Don't show your hand. Never let them see you sweat. All this aggression you had, save it for the locker room. Okay? Better yet, use it in the next game. Go. Did we did we watch the same game I just watched? This is the best game I ever had. 16 points. Alright, calm down. Uh, calm down, Scotty D. Uh, we got a phone call here. Let's or a text. Is it Brian? Coach D. Coach D. Okay, it sure is. What do you got to say to me, Coach D? Come on. Love what you've been doing out there with the minutes you got. Okay, DJ. Okay. So? So the coaching staff thinks you ought to get more of them starting next game. Booyah! Thanks, Coach. All right, well. They've said that before. No, anyway, I think uh, increasing the uh, the uh, period minutes to 10 has kind of helped me out a little bit. Let me stay in there a little bit longer, I think. So, yeah. All right. Well, uh, oh, something from D'Angelo Russell. Yo, DJ. Sup, D? Good meeting you. Let's hang some time. Okay. Cool. Make sure you hit those weights too. You look soft. <laughs> Come on. I was in there before this game. I wasn't doing the weights. I was just doing the agility stuff. I'll hit you up. All right, man. Thanks. Look, man, got my first fan or my first uh, player uh, buddy outside of the team. So whatever you want to call them. All right. Uh, I think that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, if you like the episode, leave a like. If you've not yet subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would. And uh, we'll catch you next time on A New Plays NBA 2K18. Catch you later. Bye.